Hey there, my name is Ty Clark. I'm a licensed massage therapist, and I'm gonna show you how you can do a massage on someone for carpal tunnel syndrome and different types of elbow pain. But first, before we get started, make sure that you subscribe below, and if you like this video, like and comment, and let's get started. These are really effective techniques. Many people think that carpal tunnel syndrome can only be fixed with surgery, but I would highly recommend getting a forearm massage. You need to relieve those tight forearm muscles that inflame the carpal tunnel. It really can do the trick. So I mostly try to use an open fist or supported hands to do this massage, but as we hit some of the smaller areas, sometimes using the thumb is inevitable. As massage therapists, we try to use our thumbs as little as possible because we know that that is the first thing to go. So we've warmed up the tissues and now we're going to start doing some deeper, slower work using our fists. Going slowly, it's really important to help affect the fascia. In fact, I've sped up some of these clips for the purposes of the video, but this is all really slow, deliberate movement. Some cross friction will help prepare and loosen the fascia around the tendon area at the end of the muscles. And then we're gonna concentrate on this line. You see me going up here. This line is the separation between the supinators and the pronators, or the muscles on the top of the forearm and the bottom. And it's pretty obvious once you start looking for it, you can definitely find it. So this is going to be a really important area to focus on right here and this particular move that I'm doing is going to be vital to helping these muscles release. I'm pushing across the forearm going against the muscle direction and this will really help release the fascia in the area. Now I'm holding this for a really long time. I cut some of the clip off but you want to wait until you feel either kind of a shift or your client feels kind of a burning feeling. And of course, you can do this whole part with supported hands to take pressure off the thumbs. You're just going to do the same movement. I like adding a little bit of a twist, which pins the fascia and stretches it out to the side. And this is why I always schedule longer massages. I like to have that time with the problem area to be able to have space to hold those fascial adhesions. So the other important area between the pronators and the supinators will be our next focus. And, and again, it can be located by looking for that prominent line between the two sections. And we're going to do a really similar movement to the one we just saw. This is a really important part right here. We're going to lift that top section of muscles up and we're going to try and get underneath it to the forearm muscles beneath that and this is really going to stretch out the fascia in that spot and I found that that spot is kind of a traffic jam for muscles and that this move is really effective in helping different elbow pain. The person that you are massaging will really feel this one if they are having problems in their elbow but it really is super effective. And again, you always want to finish up any deep work with some effleurage or some nice smoothing strokes. When people get carpal tunnel syndrome, the top of their forearm is typically shortened and bottom muscles overstretched. So if you think about how your hand sits when you are on the computer, that is typically what has been happening to someone who has this type of syndrome. It's important that we work on both sides. So I'm addressing that same line that we just worked on using some active release. So I'm pinning the muscles while moving the wrist and it can help quickly lengthen the muscles. And I love when problems are alleviated quickly. So next, I'm gonna show some more active release and we're gonna have the client do the movement. You're gonna do this a couple times on the top and the bottom. But the key here, again, is to go slowly. I haven't sped up this section because I wanted to show how slow you could actually go. And you probably could go even slower. But you're gonna have the client bring the hand in, extend the fingers up, and slowly lower them down. And I'm only showing it once on each side, but again, in normal practice, I would actually do it a couple times. 
So bringing the palm in, slowly extending those fingers, taking them that down. I use a rolfing style that is the style that I was taught in. And it's, it's a really effective method to create long-term progress and pain-free living. Because the forearm muscles attach to the hand, ending your massage in this spot is going to be extremely beneficial. The tendons are all nice and warm and ready to be stretched out. I like to give some extra love to the thumb area because it's usually overworked. And then pinning and stretching over the wrist area in that bent motion is going to feel oh so good. And now we're gonna do some pinning and stretching directly on those tendons. It's gonna be really helpful if you talk to your client and have them let you know where they feel more pain. You can usually tell because it feels a little bumpy. Maybe there's a um, fascial adhesion there so it feels thicker. But pin, those, pin the tendon and then stretch the hand out and away from it. The great thing about this move is that this is one that you can do on yourself. So as a massage therapist, I try to do it quite often on myself so that I don't develop any problems here. And this is something that you can have your clients do at home for themselves if they're experiencing these problems. As we all know that the home stuff makes the huge difference in whether a problem goes away for good or not. And you can always end with some light friction on those tendon areas to kind of finally release all of that fascia. And then you can turn their arm over and do some light friction on the tendons on the other side of the arm. And always end with some nice effleurage and some nice clearing, smoothing strokes and help push fresh blood through the area and all the metabolic waste out. All right, go give this therapy a try. I know it's really effective, and we'll see you in the next video.